happening YouTube? Back in the day, Gamer here. Thanks for tuning into my channel, and today I'm coming at you with another Video Games Monthly Unboxing. Well, how come I'm not wearing my Video Games Monthly, your boy Floyd shirt? That's because until I get a one-up, I'm not wearing that shirt anymore. Everybody wants to pick on me. Oh, look, I got, no. oh, I didn't get a one-up. It's Back in the Day Gamer's box. Oh, I got one. Oh, oh take that, Back in the Day Gamer. Well, take that video games monthly. Definitely not boycotting your product. <laughs> but until I get a one up, I'm boycotting wearing your shirt in the videos I make for your company. That being said, let's see what our boy Floyd brought us this year. This year, no, no. This, this month, this box. Yeah, my strange and unique location for this month's unboxing is my backyard yeah I was just painting some trim and uh, putting down <laughs> grass seed water in the grass feeding the chickens and then I was like uh yeah you know what I think I got a video games monthly box in there to open there's, there's definitely no one up in this it is sadly pathetic feeling and very shaky so it's all right though it's all right this could be i don't i don't need one up okay it's not i don't need that feeling around for cards well i feel one i know it's not a one up it, it's not I'm not gonna update my library either don't tell me what to do void all right first game obviously it's a nintendo title and it is l hunter's turbo racing yeah so Racing games on the NES are notoriously crappy, aside from Formula One Built to Win, which is probably actually one of my top NES games. I'm not a racing game fan so much, but this game is awesome. My buddy's older brother had it back in the day, and it has RPG mechanics. You win races, you get the money, you power up your car. L. Unser Jr.'s Turbo Racing is not that game. I mean, I guess it's better than Days of Thunder, maybe. I don't know, because I've only played that game for 10 minutes because it sucks so bad. But it is a 30-some-year-old 8-bit NES racing game. So, you know, what do you really expect? <laughs> All right, before we switch locations here, we got to try the... It's O'Fallon's Naughty Pretzel Beer. Oh yeah, we had to have this one. All right, O'Fallon's Naughty Pretzel Beer. We love beer! I'm excited for this. I think it's gonna be good. I obviously shook it up. Ooh, it's got a nice color. Yeah. That's a super nice day today. I'm probably gonna go fishing once I'm done being disappointed by not getting no one up here. But yeah, as soon as I pulled over here, this bird obviously is pissed off and doesn't want me to film here for some reason. So hopefully it's not coming up too annoying because it's pretty annoying. Let's see what we got. Game number two. Ooh, Super Dodgeball. Not disappointed. So Super Dodgeball is actually a really good game. Not sure why I don't have it. Not sure why this bird won't shut up. Get out of here, bird. But yeah, everybody knows Super Dodgeball, right? Wasn't a game I had back in the day, but it's solid. A lot of people did have it. I mean, it's pretty popular for a volleyball game, right? I mean, there's lots of weird themes and whatnot that have good games. But I mean, volleyball is not exactly something that's, you know, let's play a volleyball video game, right? I mean, you'd be, you'd be more apt to play a racing game, something like that terrible game I got first in this box. <laughs> but nonetheless, it not being such a popular video game subject, this is a stellar game. 
And without knowing the third game in the box, I'm gonna say that this is probably the best one of the lot. All right, after a cruise around the lake, I decided to end up here on the dirt bike track, which is always a lot of fun in the golf cart, but it's not a lot of fun when you have your expensive camera. So you're not gonna get to, you're not gonna get to come with me, but I'm gonna set the camera up and maybe hit some sweet jumps in the golf cart. Um, let's see, finish this beer first. That's always a good idea. Last game of the box, I'm assuming. Yeah, uh-huh. Here's the other two, mm-hmm. Had to put them in there so they didn't fall out. Last game of the box, come on, be a good one. It's, it's an unlicensed black cartridge, not Tengen, but F-15, what's this? F-15 City War. So I've never played this game, but it's sure to be crap because nearly every unlicensed game is junk along with many of the licensed games but uh yeah so now i'm just gonna wing it because uh you know i gotta have something to fill this time while you watch some gameplay but uh if i'm wrong i'll go ahead and reshoot this but this game probably is crap glad to have it not complaining needed it wanted it now i have it whether it's good or bad still wanted it for the collection and it is up there now on the massive shelf with the other 500 some NES titles. Yes, yes, yes. Coming along nicely. Should be hitting 600 by the end of the year, probably. But uh, yeah, racing games, a little more common of a theme. Volleyball games, not so much. Jet fighting games, yes, very popular. It's, you know, the best of the genre that I can think of that pop into my mind are Top Gun, which could be a stellar game if it wasn't for landing on that damn aircraft and trying to refuel in mid-air. Yes, I know, with practice it's possible, blah, blah, blah. But it's a massive game flaw. Hopefully this game isn't filled with those. I assume this game is just crap. You're watching me play it now, so you tell me what you think. I bet that would have really went well if you rimmed the glass with some caramel and kosher salt. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have any of that out here. So, all right, so what's the prize this month? Well, I'm not gonna show you because usually I'm filming these wrong and I don't want you to know what month this box actually came from. <laughs> there you go, that's it, three games. I'm only subscribed to three now. So thanks for tuning into my channel. Once again, enjoying my subscription to Video Games Monthly. I highly suggest you take advantage of their services as well. It's like Christmas for adults, but once a month. So thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And until next time, YouTube, keep it retro.